In South Africa, it was celebrations everywhere as former President Nelson Mandela turned 95 years old. Thousands of people gathered outside the Pretoria Hospital where the anti-apartheid icon has spent over a month to celebrate his birthday and the 4th Nelson Mandela International Day. The crowd danced, sang and prayed as others placed flowers and cards on the walls and sidewalks. Some in military uniforms performed in a colorful parade, marching back and forth in the streets outside the hospital. Men, women and even little children all wished the man they fondly called Madiba happy birthday and a speedy recovery. Here in Washington, the South African Embassy and Trans Africa celebrated Mandela's birthday at the Metropolitan AME Church. Yeah, the sounds of djembe drums, songs and speeches filled the church as African diplomats, prominent African Americans, members of the African American trade unions, and the public attended the festivities. The strongest testimonies to Mandela's life came from former California Democratic Congressman Ronald Delams and former Republican Senator Richard Luger. Both were outspoken critics of apartheid in South Africa and helped to pass the anti-apartheid legislation of 1986, which called for a trade restriction against, uh, against South Africa and immediate divestment by American corporations. Delams met Mandela after he was released from jail and he quoted Mandela liberally in his remarks last night. Our involvement in the effort to end apartheid in South Africa brought us together as comrades in a great struggle to bring freedom and justice to our sisters and brothers in South Africa. But in Lusaka, Zambia, where Bill Gray first introduced me to Nelson Mandela, a moment that was so extraordinary that it will be frozen in my memory and in my heart for all time. For when Bill Gray said, Mr. Mandela, I would like you to meet Congressman Rondella. This is my impression of Nelson Mandela. He looked at me and he said, Ronald, tell me, oh, we have heard much of you. You gave us hope. You kept us alive. And he hugged me and I cried. And I would never forget that moment and I will cherish it forever. Upon returning home, my children were extraordinarily excited that I had met this incredible human being. They said, Pop, when you met Nelson Mandela, what did you think? And I looked at my children and I said, I believe that I have stood in the presence of the strongest, most magnificent human being that I have ever encountered. It was like being in the presence of a gigantic saint. Now, in recent days, South African President Jacob Zuma and the family of Nelson Mandela have said that uh, the global icon has responded positively to treatment and that they are encouraged by that progress. As the world